Hi guys and welcome to another video. So in this video we're going to talk about stream writers. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, we're going to start talking about uh, strings in C Sharp. So to get started, let's import the system.io namespace. Uh, and right now we can talk about streams in C Sharp. So there are several types of streams in C Sharp. Uh, one of those is the stream writer, which is specifically for writing. Okay, so uh, let's get started by talking about this. So let's create a string, which is going to be our text. So let's uh, assign this is a text. Okay, so we have this string, okay? Uh, and I wanna write this into a file. So how can we do that? So there are several ways in which we can work with files in C-sharp, but uh, we saw that we could use the file class to do that, but now we're gonna use the stream writer class. So we could create an object. So the stream writer is a class that is not static. So we can instantiate. So let's say that I'm gonna create an object, an object uh, named writer. We're gonna instantiate. We use the new uh, keyword and we initiate this object. So we see that we have some um, constructors that we could use. Um, there is stream, um, path, string and encoding, uh, string and a bool. So we have different. So let's just pass a file.txt, which is the name of the, the file that we are going to create. So this is, um, creates an object, okay, for writing text. This is a good way to put it. So how to write a line, okay, write a line. To write a line, it's very simple. You just call the object that you created, writer dot write. And there are several methods. There, there is a write and the write line. Let's use the right line, which um, as the name suggests, uh, uh, write a new line to this file. So right here, we have write a line, and then we need to close this object. Remember that if you are using objects, you should uh, call the close function to close. Let me comment over here, close the file. So if you don't call writer.close, um, you couldn't, you wouldn't be able to um, use the file, okay? You need to dispose that file, so you need to um, call this writer.close. So, after that, I'm just gonna print in the, on the screen, the file was created. So, let's run it, and we should see this file. I'm going to open up the path to this uh, project so I can show you guys um, the, the file. So you guys can see over here, let me, yeah, I forgot to, okay, so let's run with control F so you guys can see this output and right here you guys can see the, the path this solution and if I double click I could see the text inside of the file that we just created. So this is how we can create um, this file using C sharp. Okay. So uh, thanks thank you for watching this video guys. See you guys next time.